Uh, my name is Alan Jennings. Um, bad decisions got me here. Poor choices. Um, can't blame it on nobody but myself. Um, I know that there's always ways of turning back. You know what I'm saying? Just because you're homeless or you make bad decisions, that don't mean it's over. You can always make better decisions. There ain't never just one path to go down. You got multiple paths. So it's depending on when you have to the position you're at now in life, you know what I'm saying, which way to go from here. Either you can be burned out on drugs and alcohol, or you can do better with yourself, get a job, and get educated. And I'll choose to get educated because I know what got me here. And I know me being here will only get worse. Here. So why should I keep doing the same thing? Even though I did it occasionally, it still brought out the worst in me. Um, life is about choices. And you realize when you made the wrong choice when you're in a bad situation, I guess. <laughs> I all come to say, when I'm 32, I've been homeless for about four months, but I really never had a home of my own. I stayed with girls and in my car and friends and ran the streets most of my life. And now that I hit rock bottom and I want to do something different, besides being in the streets and doing what the street got to offer, it's not really, you know what I'm saying? it's not really too late, but it's too late to, I guess, to be comfortable the way I want to be comfortable. So I got to come from this to go somewhere else. I don't really know. I guess homeless is really not really, I guess homeless where the heart is. So I guess I'm not, I don't know. If I'm homeless, then I'm at peace. And um, I don't know. I wish better for everybody. You know what I'm saying? I guess I do better for me at the same time. I can't really complain. You know, I put myself in this position. I can't blame on nobody but myself. It's a state of mind. You got the property is a state of mind. You know, you ain't got to be here forever, you know. I don't believe anybody got to be down for never, you know. <laughs> Name's Tom Cairns. I have a hit drawing out right now. My brother is a world-class painter. His daughters have both been in movies with DiCaprio and Brad Pitt. And it's my turn. It's my turn. I'm here, I'm homeless, but I'm not homeless. Um, I'm just trying to figure my way out and Ward, the guy that runs the place, says I treat everybody nicer than myself, and I don't treat myself too good, but I know how to eat. I want to be, I'm gonna be a star. I'm going to be a star, and it's on the way. Other than that, this gentleman here has very, been very kind to me. Sometimes I say things that make people angry, and I apologize to all, and forgive me in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Tell me a bit about your family. Um, my brother, he lives in New York. His two daughters have both been in movies, major motion pictures, with DiCaprio and Brad Pitt. World War Z, World War Z one and two. And uh, her name is Sterling Jerns. And she plays every morning on Sunday morning at 9 a.m on uh, HBO. She plays uh, Sarah Jessica Parker's daughter at 9 a.m. for there's four more episodes. Uh, that's my niece, Sterling. She's gonna be the next star, big one, because she likes it. And her older sister, Ruby, is going to college now and she's retired from major motion pictures. Believe that. She wanted to go to college, but you know, I'm kind of afraid for her, but she's a star, you know. When you get to, when you're a young star, you don't know what's going on. But they are just are wonderful, wonderful nieces. I can't do enough but just pray for them. And I do believe in God, and my brother doesn't. So everything I do is trying to make, not make, but show my brother Edgar Jarens that God exists. That's all I have to say.